Hi everyone, I'm Angie Gogna, professional makeup artist. And today I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about concealer. Concealer does wonders in camouflaging our dark circles, making us look like we're well rested, and highlighting areas of our face that we wanna bring forward. In fact, it's that one product I can't leave home without. So today I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about concealer. Applying, you want to make sure that the concealer goes on smoothly, which is why it's very important to firstly moisturize your skin. Now, if you have oily skin, I suggest you use a primer after moisturizing. This step will take care of any fine lines or textured skin and ensures that the skin is soft, smooth, and well prepared for concealer application. formula should you go for? Concealers mostly come in a cream or liquid formula. I suggest opting for a liquid concealer if you have oily skin because this formula will stay put. Now if you have dry skin, I suggest going for a creamy formula because this will give you that extra hydration you need. When choosing a shade of concealer, it really depends on your main purpose. If you want to brighten or highlight, I suggest going for concealer that's one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. If you want to cover up dark spots or pimples, then go for a shade that's closest to your skin. If your dark circles are stubborn or appear ashy even after concealer, then what you need to try is a concealer with an orange tint if you're dusky or a concealer with a peach tint if you're fair. When applying, you can either use a sponge, brush, or your ring finger. A brush is perfect for a smooth, targeted application, especially on the inner corners of your eye or when you're trying to cover specific spots or blemishes. So today I'm using this liquid concealer which comes with a built-in applicator making it super convenient. So using a shade that's close to my skin tone, I'm applying it under my eyes to eliminate the shadow. It's good to apply this in a way where you see the solid color of the product and then I'm gonna blend it out using my ring finger because this has the most gentle touch. When working with your under eyes, you want to make sure to use a dabbing motion so that you don't tug your skin. Now, as you guys can see, I have a blemish over here, which I'm going to cover up with the same shade concealer. done covering up my problem areas, I'm going to proceed highlighting using my lighter shade concealer. So to do this, I'm going to draw some lines from the inner corner of my eye going down to the side of my nose, center of my cheeks, till the outer corner of my eye. more coverage, I suggest drawing an inverted triangle to highlight your under eye area. Let me show you how. So you can proceed to highlighting the other areas of your face using the same light concealer, such as the bridge of your nose, above my lips. Once you're done blending, you shouldn't really see where the product begins or ends. It should just look flawless and naturally highlighted. Now I'm gonna proceed with applying my foundation. Once you're done, it's very important to set your base, especially the concealed areas, with powder. You can use either a loose powder or a compact powder. Now this step makes sure that your makeup lasts all day long.
Concealer 101. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to PopXO TV and download the PopXO app if you have any more beauty or makeup related questions.